welcome to my channel and um, my followers on my whatsapp group have been asking me if i can make um like analysis of showing how to trade when it comes to boom and crash um, or even vix um, indices so what we're gonna do um, let's open trading view binary.com we can also do this analysis on mt5 but um, I'm just going to use this because it will come with uh, a lot of tools to use. So let's start with, let's look at Crash 500. Uh, let's see how Crash 500 is looking like. And let's see how we can analyze it so that we can look for entries. Um, so to have a good idea of what's happening in the market, we need to start looking at higher time frames. So if we look at crash 500 right now on a daily um, time frame, which is 24 hours, what are we seeing? So first of all, we can start by drawing a trend line. So where is the market going? So we can see that for the past days or even months, um, it has been on a downtrend. So if we come here and draw our trend line all the way down, we can see that it's been on a downtrend. And also remember when you are drawing your trend line, it doesn't mean every time the market have to touch uh, your trend line. So it might happen that sometimes it doesn't touch like here, or sometimes it must seem like it just passed the trend line a little bit and also reversed and come back. So it doesn't mean it have to respect exactly on the trend line, but sometimes it will pass a little bit or sometimes um, it will turn just before. But what is important is to know what's the direction of the market. So if we come and draw our trend line here, we can see that the market has been going down. So as the market was going down, it was creating, there was high here, low here, high, low here, high, low. But now when it went back up, we're expecting it to come here on the trend line and then come down. But that's not what happened. What happened is it broke the trend line. So after that, what are we expecting? So that means now we're expecting the market to go up like it did come and retest and then go up again that is what we're expecting but it doesn't mean that's what the market has to do remember we don't control the market so to find a good entry now that we know what's happening with the market what's next then now we start going down to lower time frames so for instance in this case if we go to four hours let's see what's happening on four hour time frame so remember we said it was uh, uh, going down and then it broke the trend line. Now we start looking for our support and resistance in this case. So we have, yeah, the re market reacted here, the market reacted here, the market reacted here, the market reacted here as well as here. So what we're going to do now is draw or support which is going to be here and we're also going to draw another one the market reacted also on this level so if you look it reacted here it reacted here and also there's quite a lot of reaction here as well as here so looking at this now what do we see what do we see when we look at that okay um sorry about that so like i was saying Sorry about that. So like I was saying, um, here on our four hour time frame, we can see that the market 
started also creating another trend here. So we can draw our line of a trend that it was creating here. This is now on a lower time frame. Then we start also looking for other trends on the direction where the market is going so that we can know what's going to happen next. So the market has been trending going up and then it broke the trend line. It came down. It came back to test the trend line. What were we expecting at that point? We we're expecting the market to go down. But did it go down? No, it didn't go down. Then if you also look, it came here and created, it also came here and created a head and shoulder. This is first shoulder. This is your head. It created another shoulder here. What were we expecting? We we're expecting the price to go down because it tested this trend, um, this trend line. But did it go down? No, it didn't go down. So what's happening in the market at the moment? Instead of going down, it came back to test this trend that we were in. Uh, our trend line, if we extend it all the way, then you see that the market came back to test the trend line here again. But if we go down to one hour, let's see how the market is reacting now on that trend line. On that trend line, instead of breaking and going up or continue going down, it's still struggling. It's consolidating on the trend line. So it tested the trend line, it came down, went back up, but it's not going up to the upper trend line. Then it keeps going up and down, up and down on this trend line. So can we look for entries on this trend line? Or can we look for entries on this consolidation it's doing right now? Yes, we can. Now look how the charts are looking on the 15 minutes. Because I see a W for uh, a M formation here on one hour. So I'm sure if we come to 15 minutes, we can find a very good entry. I'm just going to remove this trend line here so that we can see properly on our 15 minutes time frame. So look, if we come down to 15 minutes, here there is a very nice M formation. Yeah. So what are we expecting? We're expecting the price to come down and form a very nice M. But we're not just going to jump and say, okay, I'm going to sell because I'm seeing um, M formation. We also need to analyze and see uh, how is the market doing? Well, what do we predict could happen next? So if you come here, yeah, on our 15 minutes time frame, we can draw another trend line here. If you draw another trend line here, you can see that the market has been really respecting this trend line. So it came down, it went back up to this trend line and back to the down um, downtrend line, and it kept repeating the same until here. It broke the trend line. It came out of the trend line. So what are we expecting now? Now what we are expecting. Now what we can expect is for the price to continue going down. But before it goes down, the price must or could come back and test the trend line before going down. Why are we saying that? If we come here, we can see that here there is another very strong support. This has been respected for quite some time. So you can see that it was respected here, it was respected here, it was respected here, it was respected here as well as here. So now that the price is here, there is a high chance that it's going to respect and going back up. So 
how are we going to take an entry if we have to take an entry at this point? That means we will have to wait for the price to come down. So let's wait for the price to come down here. We can take our sell entry because we have confirmation that it broke the support and it's going to it's going to go down but where am i going to put a stop loss if it happens that i take that entry where am i going to put my stop loss we can put our stop loss just above yeah just above yeah that means if the price continues to come down and then it comes back up that means already it's going either to test that um, trend line again or to go up. But if it comes down here and we take our sell entry and it continues going down, then where are we going to put our TP? The first TP is going to be here. This is going to be our first TP. And our second TP now is going to be controlled with how the market have been reacted here. So you can see it has been respected, respecting this area. So this will be becoming our second TP. But for those people who trade or who hold, um, who hold their, their positions for long, then that will mean we need to go to higher time frames. So in this case, we'll go to four hour time frame. Let's see where we can take our our profits, which you can see from here, yeah, from this M formation, the price we're expecting it to come all the way down to this area. So if you are scalping or if you are a day trader, you can go to 15 minutes and we're looking at taking our profits at these zones or this zone. But if you are day trade, but if you are if, if you are holding for long, then obvious you're expecting your price to come all the way down to here. So let's also look maybe on uh, what other pair can we look at. Uh, let's try and look at boom thousand. Let's see what are we seeing on boom one thousand and how can we take entries on here? Okay, so boom one thousand first, we're going to go our higher time frame, which is gonna show us the overall um, trend. So what do we see here? We see that it's been on a downtrend. But once it was on a downtrend, let me get my brush here. Once it was on a downtrend, it came down high, low, high, low, high, low. But when it came back, instead of making another high and low, it fell and this high came to the exact level as the previous high. And when it went down, it also didn't break the previous law. Then it created a W formation. So what are we seeing just from that? We can see that the trend is starting to change direction. But that is just what we are seeing. But that is not confirmation that the trend has changed. But looking at what's on the charts, we are already starting to see a trend reversing. Okay, so if we go to lower time frames, how can we analyze further the market? If we go to our lower time frame, we can also start looking for support and resistance. Where is the levels of interest? So we can see here, there's a level of interest here. So remember, like I said before, the market doesn't have to respect exactly, like you can see it respected here. 
it came back respected but didn't touch but it came very close and it went down and yeah when it broke it came back and tested but it seemed like it was about to break or it just broke a little bit and then it reversed back in so in that case in that case that will mean it just went up back but respected here so after it respected what happened then it came back respected again tried to go up and broke down so now what are we expecting as the price is coming down what you are expecting right now is the price to come respect and either go up or respect and go down but there is very high chances that the price will respect and go further up so if we want to take entries how are we going to take entries or where are we going to put our stop loss so to be safe to be safe um we can come and take our entry uh, where's my rectangle we can take our entry right here right here we can take our buys it's going to come and test here and then it's going to continue going up we take our buys and where are we going to put our stop loss so remember before earlier on it continued to this level and where it went back up so we're going to put a trend line here and just below it just below it if you are good if you have a good account a big account just below it that's where you put your stop loss but if you know your account is tiny and you don't want to risk a lot then you can put your stop loss just below here just below here you can put your stop loss and where is our first tp let's not forget that the market have been respecting if you look here and you can look here you can look how it has been respecting you can see all the way to here so now we expect the market to come back and also respect yeah so if we have to take our tp this is going to be our first tp this is the level that we can put our first tp but this is on four hour time frame so let's see how is it looking on one hour or 15 time frame uh, 15 minutes time frame can we get an early entry or should we wait until the price comes to oh sorry or should we wait until the price come to to our level okay so looking on the smaller time frame we can see that the price has been respecting here oh uh, let me get my rectangle and you can see that the price respected here twice and it respected here as well it respected here so that's the same thing what happened here the price seemed to break and then it came back up but since it's on a downtrend it created a high uh, let me get a brush so I want you to see something here when the price was coming down from this area it went low high it went low again then high then it went low then high what are we expecting we're expecting the price to go low until it reach this level this is where we are expecting our price to come back and go all the way up but before it gets there don't forget to look or to pay attention on what's happening here 
the price might respect here and go up or might come and break to create another low and then eventually go up so once we are looking for entries we start from higher time frame we look what's happening on the 24 hour time frame or daily time frame from there what's happening on the four hour time frame down from four hour time frame then we start looking what's happening on the lowest time frame such as 15 minutes this is now where we can go and get our entries from there we can see exactly when to take a trade where to put a stop loss and also remember it's not always guaranteed you can draw your trend lines you can draw your support and resistance you can see the price action what's happening in the markets you take your trend your, your trade it doesn't guarantee you that it's gonna go as you're expecting we don't control the market sometimes the price will go where it's unexpected that's the reason why we must always trade with a stop loss never make a mistake to trade without a stop loss your stop loss must always be calculated and if it hit your stop loss then accept it don't start looking for another entry to cover for that loss that you just made if the price went against you that's a failed trade now start analyzing for the next trade and forget about it but this is how we analyze and i'm also going to post more videos um, on how to analyze it on your phone and also um, what indicators we can use because first we have to analyze how the market is reacting and how it's um, moving but then also we can use indicators to help us guide or see where the market could be going so i'm also going to post more videos where i will be showing indicators that we can use and also how we can analyze the markets on the phone but as for now i say thank you for watching and you can subscribe like and also every time uh, when we get new videos you can also get a notification that uh, we have uploaded a new video uh, it could be showing indicators or more on how to analyze our markets um, on the next um, I'm, I'm also going to post another video where we'll be analyzing vix vix 75 or other vix indices just to look at how we can also analyze and get nice entries that will give us good profits